Greetings. My name is Timothy Raw, and this is Great Apes Cafe. Or is it? You must question everything that you have that's going on in this world. Everybody, every day, and every second is bombarded with information. Think about it. You have a cell phone, right? You get on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and you think you're not being tracked? You are. And you need to open your eyes and come to the realization that we live in a simulation. Or maybe we don't. Question everything. And that's what this episode is going to do. But the choice is yours. I have the red pill and the blue pill. The red pill represents you liking, subscribing, and sharing, and coming on to watch something different. Something that others may label as a conspiracy. Or you could take the blue pill and X out your browser, X out your window, Close it and walk away. The choice is yours. Another episode. Nobody here. My sis ain't here. Amari, <laughs> she's out. My homeboy, Moose. Moose, you know who the fuck you are. He ain't here. And um, I decided, shit, I got I got some some peoples with me. We're gonna talk about some crazy shit. So um this episode was gonna stimulate that pituitary gland, hopefully, and get you to keep your eyes on the prize. Anyway, I'm gonna introduce everybody. Um, I already told you who I am. We got two, three special guests today. I'm going to start it off with you. Uh, this is... I'm Ryan McLean. Nice to see you guys. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm, a, I'm a world traveler. Just uh, I'm a seeker, but uh, I've studied a lot of these uh, oh, concepts. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to spark your curiosity today. And I feel like um, we're going to get some beautiful sensei conversations going on here. All righty. Damn, <laughs> hard to follow that one. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, my name is Casey, um, and I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> I just got off work and <laughs> survive. Yeah, we're gonna talk about stuff. It's crazy shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm Ted Token. I'm just here, bro. I'm just vibing, <laughs> bro. Yo. Facts. Live. I'm Jedi's. Facts. And um. <laughs> I mean, it, we're going to have to really, really talk about some good shit. These two are permanently going to be a part of the podcast. They just don't know it yet. But anyway, <laughs> they don't know it yet, but they are. But anyway, <laughs> or maybe they do. I don't know. I've been drinking. But um, mm-hmm. but I'm not drunk. Or am I? That's the question. <laughs> you got to figure it out. Uh, but I want to, before we go into that topic, anybody else want to start off with anything with a conversation of anything we need to talk about? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, then you can go ahead and start it off, my friend. Yo, I want to talk about this um, this, this situation we're under right now. Are we going to be locked down? Are we going to be free? What's going to be our future through the holiday seasons? And then um, Boy. basically, uh, we're sovereign beings that have had freedom. And we're all in the United States right now, so we're used to this. We have, we have uh, learned. We have gotten our books. I feel like we're in a modern-day book-burning censorship. So a lot of these... Um, False flags. We're seeing we're we're seeing coverage not being covered. We're seeing things taken off the internet recently. Um, topics can't be discussed. We're not used to this. So, what do you, do you guys feel like? What's going on? I feel like. I feel, what do y'all feel about that? When it comes to censorship, and you 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 artist Ted, so you should already know about censorship, my friend. Repeat, repeat it again. Enlighten me a little bit. All right. More. So pretty much, we've been limited on the conversations. 
Like, there's certain things even I can't say on YouTube. It would like, censor me. Algorithms. Basically. People talking like, about, like, some people have accounts where they, like, just talk about, like, conspiracy theories or, like, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Or no. You say certain things. I can't say the five letter. And if you yeah. have that letter with the technology that's creating Wi-Fi, if you say the five letter, that will get you flagged. And basically, you will get demonetized on some of the sites. And it's, there's other categories, too. Right, right. That shit is scary as fuck, honestly. Yeah. How do you, like, do keep you think up with that your freedom many of speech? people at that many times? And eh, it depends on what you're on. It does. Mm. It does limit your freedom of speech if you're just on the internet saying something that like reflects negatively on the government. Like you know what I mean? Because right. that's oh, so you can say anything. You can say racist shit. You can say hateful shit. Right. But once it's reflecting negatively on the government or like who's in charge, it's a problem, and they have to take it off so it doesn't reflect further onto other people and cause like a bandwagon. Right, right. I feel like, I mean, we really think about it and I agree with all of y'all. It's, it's kind of fucking stupid in a sense because you can't say we live in a free democracy which people fail to realize is really not a democracy that we mm -hmm. live in as a republic. Yeah. But you can't say we striving for true democracy if you limiting something as far as freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. I mean, get this one thing if you have a misinformation and you get censored, that's one thing. But it's another thing if you actually not, you can't say about anything, you just get monetized or canceled. But how do you balance? The question is more so, how do you balance misinformation right. and, and the freedom of information? So um, let me bounce off that because that's, that's a good question. But if you, did you guys see the um, Jack Dorsey with Twitter and Facebook? Um, they just had a uh, a meeting with a you know a couple of representatives right. and they were asked a lot of questions basically anything that they were doing they basically spun they they're definitely trained right and they wouldn't say what why they would not answer it or do you censor certain people do you censor certain beliefs do you censor politic political do you take sides are you a publisher cuz they basically if they're a publisher they're going to be treated like a newspaper right yeah. so they right. recently just about this Hunter Biden thing, they basically said that um, he had a lot of controversial stuff. He was under <laughs> underage kids in his bed. He had a oh, crack no. pipes. He had all sorts of things, um, and that was all like blackmailing him and his family. And uh, they they shut down the New York Post, the fifth largest syndicated paper. Right, and it's like that's that's unheard of. Like that's like yeah. taking down like a whole station. That's like taking down, um, you know, some of the Someone's someone's main source of news, like what's the weather today? That they is won't a even big have limit. That's definitely, I feel like, an attack on the freedom of speech. Big time. Because you're basically saying that we're stupid. We can't figure we, it out. We stupid. We can't figure it out. And if it's factual truth, that you know, if if what you just basically said, and I'm over here publishing about the information on the truth about it, technically that's not misinformation. That's fact. Therefore, the world should know. But. That happened, and didn't that happen to you the other day? You remember you took pictures at the protest, and then it was just, she took a picture of Black Lives oh, Matter. Oh, that wasn't the other day. That was like a month but ago. Still, <laughs> it was like the other shit. day a month ago. <laughs> but no, yeah, I posted like, it was literally just a picture of uh, one of the protests downtown. And all it was showing in the picture was someone holding a sign and said, Saying Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just said like BLM or something. Or no, it said stop killing black people. And then Instagram took it down. They flagged it or what did they do? They just took it down. It, wow. I got like hella <laughs> likes and people, you know, like I was like, bet. Like people were leaving nice like comments and then I went to check it and it wasn't even there. And I was like, what yeah, the fuck? they're starting like, to do that, yeah. It's like book burning, like I'm saying, online book burning. So I posted it again. Well, I talked to someone who told me about how Instagram will like do that if it's deemed too political. But then I got all fucking mad and I was like, there's nothing political about, about this it, right? post. Just... So I just said exactly that. Like I reposted it and literally like tagged Instagram. I was like, fuck you. Like, don't <laughs> like take this down. There's nothing political about this. So don't even try, bitch. Like. Did it still take it down? No, it stayed. Good. I was like, this is a moral <laughs> like thing. If right, anybody right. has a problem with this, get the fuck away. Um, Actually, I actually, I mean, stayed. yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, like, it's weird. We live in a world now where you are told what to do, 
and you are an illusion. You can't have your narrative. You can't create. You think a narrative. you have? You literally, exactly. You you <sighs> think you have choice, God, but it's really an illusion. Which is why I understand why some people may not even vote because I, I feel like I feel like <laughs> there is an illusion that, of choice. But That's if you if you think you have choice and it's already figured out with the electoral college, then you technically don't have choice in this exactly. sense. Exactly. Not <laughs> when you have an electoral college. Do you think so? <sighs> Cause I feel like it's weird. Like it's, it's it weird. weird. It's. Weird. I'm not surprised though. People forget this is a republic we live in. Well, I think we broke the matrix recently with Trump. We broke the matrix with Hillary not getting in. We broke the matrix with Obama, but he, he was connected to. Um, he was a cousin, I believe, of George Bush. Barry Barry Sotoro is his real name. He, that you know, who's another person who told me something about so they that. have all they have lineage so basically it's like a monarchy still but there's a lot going on with um leaders around the world in general and um they all have to like kind of stand in line and um right now i mean i think only the only countries that aren't standing in line are basically half of america and and russia right. everyone else is on this lockdown game and then the censorship is getting real but i i, I like to talk solutions we need to create our own platforms we need to create our own, like, Are what's the what's the dark web? We need to have like, we need to have a form of. I feel like the people's internet or something like yeah, like the that. people's yeah. like like the whole the whole limiting of what you can say on the internet. These these tech people are stronger than any any one empire all all put together throughout. I mean, time. look how look. I mean, some. Some tech companies are worth more than some GDPs of countries. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, they, you're absolutely right. They're really really. Fucking and then strong. their AI is coming, and then their their uh, algorithms are like off the, the chain. Chips are going to be coming. <laughs> for like you know, what's what's Elon Musk's new chip that he's doing? The Neuralink. Neuralink. He's all pumped up about that too. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a he's a out there thinker, but you know, and he, but he's also, I believe, he's also questioning the agenda. He's gotten tested four times. He said two out of four. I got positive. I'm asymptomatic. I don't know what's going on. So he's <laughs> he's he was actually on Rogan's podcast and they wanted to censor him. They got a lot of flack because he was like, I don't, I think this is nonsensical because he was a numbers person. He's a genius. So I think we need to use these geniuses and along with these scientists and have like a forum of non-political people to make these decisions uh, yeah. for the rest of our lives before they get bankrupt. That, the rest. And, and, and the fact of like, like the, I agree like a billion percent and also like not being so, so much polarized on the side. Like a real yeah, leader should yeah. not look out for both sides, yeah. Democratic, Republican, white, True. black, green, yellow, red, and not necessarily be like, oh, I'm I'm here for the Republicans, fuck the Democrats, That's or fuck I mean. the D Democrats. Divide and here. conquer. Like that divide and that separationism yeah. is it's annoying. It's, it's so toxic. annoying. They've done it to us like by by like design to the T, like just cut the samurai sword through. But the government been planning this for years. They know what they know. I'm not surprised. So Agenda 21 is that you're talking about? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they, Do you know more a little bit more about that? That's a Rockefeller ag agenda. Oh, yeah, it's a Rocker, it's a it's 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 a Rockefeller agenda, but it's also a Rothschild agenda. So, do you guys know a little bit about that? Let's fill them in a little bit. No, no. <sighs> you gotta get man. You gotta, you hey, gotta, bro. All I know <laughs> so is basically they had like they I'm had this whole going... thing planned. Like at their meetings every year, they go to Davos. Some, some people have Bilderberg. Some people say it's Bilderberg Group. You ever heard of Bilderberg? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all the top people are basically executive, not your regular millionaires, billionaires. There is a building right down the street from the White House. And it's literally a building that a lot of people, a lot of conspiracy theorists would state that actually run the world. It's not your White House. It's not your mm -hmm. judicial, your legislative. Sorry, I can't speak. Top Freemasons. It's not, you know, it's, it's even higher than that. Yeah, but... and, they, and they are also associated with the Bilderberg. Just Google, look up Bilderberg brothers. And you can be like, what the fuck? So anything people, they want to do with stocks, anything they want to do with crypto, they can just... Make a couple changes and change like have armies going to places that can create wars if they wanted to hey, yo, overthrow what's dictators. That, um, what's that dude? Yeah, name we live in the Matrix. Simpsons, bro. You talking about you talking about <laughs> Gaddafi from The Simpsons that made The Simpsons. You know who I'm talking about? He, he, they, they, I, they, the dude who looked like he's a part of the Rothschild, the rich dude, like the mayor looking oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Burns. Burns, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but he, nah, he represents he said, us as kind of like the top tier, yeah, yeah. in that world. You know, like the cartoon The Simpsons. Oh, the cartoonist? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How come they Bruh. keep on predicting the world? The Simpsons. That's what I'm saying. But no, <laughs> yeah. this is what they said for 2021. It is very true. That is, that is 
is very true, though. <laughs> January 21st, 2021, that man had a prediction that that's when, like, World War III is supposed, like, supposed to happen. Damn. Uh, based on, I mean, we on level, I feel like this is a level 11, 11. of Jumanji. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. it's, anything is possible after that, as, as, far of, as far as I'm concerned, but. I don't think the world wants a war anymore. We're like united more than we ever have been. Does they have to do a very good job of separating us? But to, I feel like there's those. We've been traveling so much years. last ten years. Yeah, like at Wilmington, we got we got a lot of a lot of separation. Well, you know where the separations are, like in Carolina Beach and Riceville Beach and stuff. Like, no, I don't. Even, it's just a lot of polar polarizing going on in Wilmington. It's fat, also yeah, still a form of yeah. separation, but everybody. And this is the problem I have. It's not even just the polarizing. Let's say if me, if I don't agree with. None of y'all, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not about to be mad at y'all for not having the same ideology exactly, as me. Exactly, bro. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the main reason I that, even created the podcast. That's a good skill, though. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to get mad and be like, oh, you, you were red, bro. you were blue. We were red, you were blue, and I don't like none of you. Fuck that shit. Nah. <laughs> no, but there no, are no, no. people like that, and that's it's, like and scary. the sad and scary part. Like, it Let's really tribalism. just takes those few tweakers. Well, we all want to be in a tribe in some way. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I said that in a couple of episodes before. There's a lot of like clicks, just like in high school, mm-hmm. like your geeks, your jockeys, you know, your <laughs> golfs. The same thing on a macro point of view on that's like literally encompassing the country. Facts. And everybody, I mean, you got, it is a lot. You got, some people say Antifa, Black Lives Matter. Some people say, you know, uh, like the little, you know, support the police or Blue Lives Matter, which I didn't know there was Smurfs, you know. Like, what I'm getting <laughs> at is... Mm-hmm. I don't like the separation. Look, if a person get like prime example, and there's an agenda behind this, if a person put their knee on a dude's neck, they need this. This should be re- like you know consequences be- because of that. There should be no separationalism or, on the injustices that's happening. Karma. I now the, the conspiracy behind that is you could do a lot to a community if you entice separation and lock them down and lock them down. Example, example, or exactly mm. Minneapolis. Um, you look at the Minneapolis situation. Mm-hmm. Um, some people like if you want to go. Look did further, you see that a little bit? Also, there was like inside jobs inside of Minneapolis. Some of the people that were oh, coming shit. into this is a warning. The, <laughs> break, breaking the windows in the uh, track yeah, auto and yeah. everything, and then next thing you know, they're like, "Oh shit, someone's breaking windows and and lighting fires." Oh shit, let's go help them. You know, and then they were like, "You know, and that's our community. You know, quit messing up the things. You know, we're just so there's and a lot of different." And then the majority of people who's doing the writing are not even from there. They're like, Fact. hey, bust, bust in. people bust in. Hey. They said one of them was a cop. That's what I mean. You always, guy. always question everything you see on TV. Question the news. Question your information. Quest, even question your strongest source. Then after you question that, when you find some right source, question the situation. What do a country gain by creating separationalism? Chaos. What do they gain from chaos? Control. Yeah, fear is very strong and powerful. Oh yeah. If I want to, if I feel like the people is having too much power and peace, let me create fear. War was a fear factor. Some people will argue that. Aaron, you have to bleep me from we, that word. We were talking you know, about the. Uh, <laughs> you gonna have to bleep that word. I but. call it the mass <laughs> hypnosis spell on humanity of fear, fear and um, our our bodies not being able to defend against something that's powerful like a like a virus. But um, I come from it like a herbalistic um, viewpoint, and also why are we not um, why are we outlawing you know certain things and and then giving you a lot of unhealthy things in our food and and then mm-hmm. now we're all of a sudden worried about COVID and you know and it's going to kill everyone off. If and- you look at the amount, if you look at it on a macro point of view, food every system is bad. Every That's what system. I mean. We're in an unhealthy food, world. Food system. Bad. We need to get back to nature. Prison system. We had the highest, worst prison system in the country. Yeah. Bad. Privatizing pri- prisons. Uh, uh, education system. Yeah. Terrible. Medical system. Terrible. And I feel yeah. like... <laughs> like every are. system is bad. But then there's... I, I feel you on every point, but then I see... Um, like the, I see people now being homeschooled, looking at YouTube videos, watching like Jordan Peterson, watching some edu- right, quantum right, right. physics with like a lot of kids and they're learning about new stuff and learning about history they should have been taught and learning about right. the, the archaeology and they're, they're, right. you know, they're getting like the, 
the Alexandria library in their fingertips and then, you know, encouraged to learn on that. If you just give them some, 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 uh, some fatherhood or some resource some motherhood or, press, or some yeah, press neighborhood, some good vibes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So oh, I mean, yeah. I think there's, and then with the health factors, I feel like, like the whole foods of the world. And if you, if you go in there and with 50 bucks, you might be able to find some cures for whatever's going on in your body. And we're sort of, mm. we're sort of polarizing what's going on with us. Are we smoking two packs of cigarettes a day? When would you survive the, a virus that's respiratory related? Most likely, yes. But you'll be you're basically you're basically numbing your your body down. Like let's say if you're a superhero, you get you're putting kryptonite in your body. So like we're we're, we're now we're like let's get to the superhero level. That's my viewpoint. But I mean, I think we got to push that agenda more than fear of like we're gonna all gonna die. Don't have dinner with your <laughs> relatives. No Thanksgiving. No turkey. You know, yeah. like, you no turkey, turkey for you. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do, how do y'all feel about this? Because I mean, y'all y'all younger than me, and y'all like. I'm pretty sure y'all hearing this for the first time. What the fuck is going on, Ted? Bye. Like, <laughs> Ted, you know, <laughs> nah, he got me on that cigarette part, though. I'm not going to lie. But, and that's hardcore because it will take over your mindset sometimes. And it's really, addiction is a motherfucker. Yeah, mm -hmm. facts. By far, oh, yeah. cigarettes are like the one thing I can't lean off of ever. Like now, it's it's to the point I smoke so like so Nicotine long. Nicotine is stronger than heroin. That, yeah, so. that shit fucking. Yeah. And do you think that's planned in some way? Yeah. I grew up in a, I grew up in a Virginia oh, yeah. state, so I know a little bit about cigarette industries. And uh, who do you think controls the cigarette kind, um, addiction properties? Do you think there's scientists behind that? Or just look at the chemicals that are in your tobacco. It's not like your grandmother tobacco back in the day who used to actually smoke. Yeah, like tobacco. They got we all these unnecessary Newports, stuff like chemicals. that. But I mean, like, I mean, it's they got kind environment of more. fluid in 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 cigarettes. Uh -huh. Look at the like, just look at the. Don't just take my word for it. Just Google the chemicals. They got carcinogens, known cancer agents, inside cigarettes. I just know this because yeah. my grandfather passed away from lung cancer. My mom oh. had cancer, Charlie. So my grandma passed it, away from lung cancer. I think from we all know cigarettes. somebody. We all know somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's like somebody. My Damn. mom found my hey, cigarette butt in my car the other day because of him. It was a full cigarette. And she was like, Are you smoking cigarettes? You know, your grandmother died. And I was like, I know. Like, right. Yeah. I know. Let's just be real. Yeah. Though, what if they say, You know what? Cigarettes become an epidemic. Let's put commercials on and see the ticker every day that comes from that. Boom. We got another, we got another epidemic. We got another facts. We got another issue. So, I think you could you could polarize anything on the media and control a narrative. You could say alcoholism is there's a domestic abuse, there's suicides, there's all sorts of things every single day. There's drunk driving accidents. So w the number tickers and all that stuff that they're doing right now, it's a they call it a psyops, like a psychological yeah, psychological operation. operation. Yeah. You could I could do more damage to you attacking your your psyche than attacking you. And if you wake up with fear every morning, check it out. Your whole day is going to be controlled by that. Rather than, damn, I'm going to get this life. I'm going to have this rainbow mm -hmm. bungee jumping experience. I'm going to be, you know, moonwalking to the beach today and surf. You know, I'm going to have a great right. time. I'm going to have, like, love it. I'm going to give 10 hugs out a day. You wake up like that rather than, look, look at the death counter. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, psychological yeah, yeah, operation. Psychological operation, that's true. And your immune system is connected to that, too. Your immune system is connected to emotions a lot. You ever heard of, like, somebody, like, you, like, like that one old person uh, died of heartbreak because somebody passed away. Facts. Yeah, yeah, when I'm right. Your immune system, it's your body is really, really in tune with emotion. And the thing is, like, it's weird because the other day I went to the doctor um, just to get a, a annual checkup or whatever. And um, she said, you know, are you depressed or anything? And I really had to think about it. And I'm like, this is 2020. Everything that's been happening. <laughs> but for some that. odd reason, I'm not depressed though. Yeah, like, you, I'm like, you were built for this. what the you fuck built, is yeah, going on? Right, right. <laughs> I'm like, I kind of knew that. I was, <laughs> you, knew that something was going to happen. We've yeah. had this stoner conversation in high school. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. 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 Facts, facts. It's like, I knew, I knew this was going to happen. I'm like, I just didn't know I was going to live in it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I, I you're just like, oh shit, we're here now. <laughs> I watch it. Oh, okay. I've seen this movie before. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, granted, when I was younger, I thought it was nuclear and not chemical or rather uh you know the whole you, you have you, to bleep me out the whole this, just this is this is you got me into something like because you like we've seen this movie before i was playing resident evil and i was going through the, some level and it was like the scary little like vampires had gotten off into the city and they they created like this whole 
place where they were just killing people, and then you had right. to go, you had to go there because it had all the vaccines there. Right, right, right. So they they had agendas attached to this video game that was similar to this a year and a half ago. Uh, so there's something that has already what? been installed in my in my brain and and through Contagion, the movies, and all those things that we've been Contagion's watching through the years. Trippy yeah. So I mean, there's there's like movies always. Let me tell you something. If you ever want to know about what you think could happen or will happen or may mm-hmm. not happen. Look at your movies. Think about it like this. I'm going to give you, this is going to fuck y'all all up. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I might get canceled, but it'll be all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> Everyone gets canceled. Everybody you get canceled until you get yep. canceled. <laughs> so, so CIA been slowly declassifying existence of extraterrestrial Oh, yeah, yeah. Species. I saw that, too. Slowly. Slowly, oh, right? They slowly bring it out. Movies, it's talking about the existence of extraterrestrial. You're talking about Bob Lazar, the recent... And Bob Lazar, it's finally, they're like... And they look, look, if they really wanted to get rid of Bob Lazar, he would have been got rid of. You know what I mean? Seems it's like slowly, that. like, programming us to be prepared to let us know about biological entities. Now, you might be like, oh, that ain't true, that ain't true. Well, okay, go to Google and type in... Um, declassified UFO uh, uh, memoir or 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 information, and it would it would fuck you up because you would ask yourself this question. I mean, you see, like some of these documents, some of these these UFOs. How can an object that's going thirty thousand miles per hour immediately go to one direction and then go back? It's not possible. Hey. Like, Only I'm, thing not, that... I'm not a physicist. You know what I mean? I, I went skydiving before. And <laughs> it's just, I don't understand gravity a little bit. Right, right, right. <laughs> and for something, we don't have no technology. We just got to get a video. And I think everyone will be a believer. Yeah, yeah. We it's just, just went then. I mean, yeah. just. You know, of the like, alien. We need to see. Like, the, and are they invincible? Are they like us? Because I think they could be probably like us. Like, have you ever listened to uh, Elon Musk talk? Right, and he, he names his kid A seven four or something, and I mean he just has this way of dealing with the, the planet that no one else does. I'm like, he shape shifted, maybe he could be an alien. You know what I mean? You never uh, know. And, then, and hey, the hey. top of the food chain, the CIA, the top of the he the, do kind of look like it though. Think about <laughs> it like this: what's you, you? It's not impossible. Just prepare yourself to be prepared for like anything. You know what I mean? Like anything is possible. Like, anything is possible. And I know that's a stretch. Oh, extraterrestrials. But I mean, think about it like if you do enough, if you do enough drugs and do enough ayahuasca, you meet these entities. (laughs) So then you go, okay, well, I can get to know them through that playing field because we can only see humans in this playing field and animals. But if you take like um, a psychedelic or something like that, you can engage with these beings. Now, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people don't even they're like, nah, that man's you can navigate it, yeah, you old in. But there are your pituitary gland is considered your third eye. And if you look at your old ancient culture, I think it's like a spaceship. Basically, you get inside the third eye, and you can take <laughs> right, off right, to these right, realms. Right. I mean, it, and you, you never learn know. To navigate it a little <laughs> bit better as you go through your life. <laughs> yeah. But I'm serious. You never know. Like, but you if, never know. Like we we're talking about calcification, you know, gland based on like ingredients like fluoride and mercury and mm-hmm. other things. But if you get that really clean, and you're meditating in the jungle, you're clean eating, you're you're going through things, and you and then you meditate, you can go on a journey, a soul journey. The importance of meditating also brings throughout time. If you if you actually meditate like real people meditate, they have a different form of happiness. It's like like your monks, you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like they're not like happy yeah, because of materialistic items. Mm-hmm. They're not happy because of relationships. They're happy because they found peace within themselves. Mm-hmm. They are. You find peace. It's yes. Like, oh, wait a minute. It's not monetary. Yeah. yeah, it's not like like you ever had want something? Oh, like me, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards and shit. I still got my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, right? I was like, I want that new Yu-Gi-Oh card, blah blah blah. And then when I get it, the wanting didn't satisfy anything. Now that I have it, it's like, okay, what's what's next? I, yeah. I need another one. You know what I mean? And it's like I'm getting all these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'm unconsciously programming myself to want more, even when I get it. And we do that with everything unconsciously, with materialistic shit. The government does that. Uh, and you you know they they feed you more information when you go to the doctor as far as pills Instagram scrolls through your scrolls yeah when you scrolling that like that's literally giving you sensations of oh, I need more I want to know more I want to know more I found myself doing that though and I know about this I was like oh wait I need to stop fuck wait a yeah minute. like I had my phone I'm like yep. what's this like, and I'm like wait a minute like and I, but yeah. by the time I said wait a minute it was already too but late but that meditation back to that meditation point allows you to stop a lot of people can't stop yeah yeah and then they're like bye and I bye, meditate bye, yeah bye. yeah like keep going yeah yeah you don't yeah. have to unplug from that matrix yeah that's why I don't I don't watch a well I try not to watch a lot of TV 
That's true. Because I know I fucking take breaks, take month. My every every now and then I take a month from social media. So now you're on to real real Fact. tips. I watch like. Are you guys on social media? I'm yeah. only on Instagram really because I like share my photos and stuff. Yeah, that's that's cool. But I fucking I just lost interest in like. The whole like social media is in like posting things about my life and then like posting a caption or whatever. Like I really just have it to share my. How did it make you feel? Work. Does it make you feel better when you're on it? Does it give you like a hit of dopamine, or do you feel like kind of, damn, I wish I had that life. I feel, I feel <laughs> the urge a lot to just like open it and like click on it, and then I always uh, X right out because your... I'm like I don't want to. All I follow, I follow like photography accounts, so it's either I'm in the mood to like look at like art and stuff, but of course you get ads and you get so other bullshit. Do they do they hit your sexual instincts? Do they hit your travel instincts? Do they hit your wanting impulse buying instincts? How does it? Oh, they Instagram like, is good at that. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, they definitely. You can literally be like talking about something, and then an <laughs> ad will come up for nope. that thing. And it's just like, what is that? Who that does same that? day, that same, the same day. day yeah. And and also by the what you click, because I know all of a sudden they found out the perfect woman for me. All of a sudden, they found my like perfect aesthetic, like redhead, yeah. big booty, <laughs> tight, <laughs> tight waist. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, and then based on that, it, it scrolls and I find new perfect, you know reproductive yeah. like things that you know have triggered me and then i'm like wait a second I'm, they know i'm a shoot head so now i'm getting all these beautiful like yeezy type of shoes and i'm like oh, yeah. damn i'm about to spend yeah. all my money right yeah. now yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. some spitz fast yeezys yeah right it's crazy how they literally keep track of everything do you feel like buy. you don't want to give them any more information or you feel like you, you're being kind of like, like purged of your your like privacy? I feel like no matter what, they're going to design it in a way that will continue to be limited if we don't comply to like giving our information. You know, like even just signing up for like Insane. random shit, like random yeah. websites, random accounts. Like to Did you hear about that? Girl's they your photos today, yeah. I had to like sign up with my email account. You know what I mean? That's like when they sign they up with your email all account. The web. That, that's you, how. I'm just now thinking about all that. But It's called center. If I don't yeah. sign up, yep. I can't and like trap. share my pictures or I can't do this that I want to do. And they've been out. I mean, they came up with this idea before computer sex actually came out. <laughs> Back to, to really. Because if you think about it, you have what social security number. Yeah. And so that idea came out before computers was out. That's, That's good, crazy. Good point. We were saying earlier, like how they had a, a meeting with two of the heads of Facebook and which he owns Instagram and Twitter owns. And then they're now sharing all the information together. So like on multiple platforms, but. He was saying like, so an insider had gotten a whistleblower's information. He called it. He he asked them the questions on, you know, hey, do you know about this tracking platform? Do you know about this? What do you do with the information? When Now, I'd be okay if they gave me a kickback with all that. Here's 50 bucks a month. We're using your information for marketing purposes. Here's 150, whatever. What yeah, are the prices? Money out of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But now they're making money off us. So now we're the product. You know, we're, we're not. that shit. And then also yeah. the time that we could be doing other things with. So I almost feel like brains are being changed. We have a we have the goldfish attention it is. span. Think about it like this. What's the last time when you went to a restaurant? I want you to do this. Look at the socialization of people. This is what I saw. So yeah, being on your phone, bro. It, it's not right good. there for the couples. They'd be like, oh, they just looking. And it wears and they out. Don't even know how to. It talk. wears out, and that shit is like not fulfilling anymore. This is more fulfilling. Being in front of people, like, people talking, hey, what's good? Yeah. Emotional yeah. levels, you know, hey, what's up? Like, actually having conversation. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know how to talk. And leave a oh, comment. Oh, yeah. Leave a comment. Do you right. know people who don't? I mean, I have a list. English is really hard for me. I think I should have been speaking some other language. You know what I mean? I don't know. Gaiaka, Gaiaka, maybe some Japanese <laughs> shit or African type <laughs> shit, right? Right. But, but the thing is, you still have to communicate. If you communicate and you talk, you learn and you move forward, like, I may not agree with everything that somebody had to say, but I agree with everything when it comes to the aspect of just knowledge. Well, if you were in charge of a group of kids, like just, you know, that were stuck on their phones or whatever, and you had a course that says mo modern um, communication, flow, whatever it may be, a connecting 101, what would you have the kids do? I would have that's 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 cool. I have the first to get off that damn phones. <laughs> so you would you would say lock your phones up, put them over here. I'm, yeah, and we all gonna just go in a circle. We're gonna talk about 
just just random conversation. Right. And I could probably wing it to end up having a task for everybody to do. Break them off in groups or something Break like them that. off in groups. We're going to switch it up groups and think. Because with children, it's, it's kind of like they can be molded in a sense. You know, it's yes. a little bit easy. They they It's transparent and not transparent, but they're like, you know, they they it's like Mr. Fantastic. They stretch. Right. You know, they yeah. can stretch their brain. And by them being on the phone, and I see it now. Like, even now, I'll be telling my wife, put my put the phone away from my son. Like, he's nine months. He don't need to be seeing no phone. No, you know, he don't True need to though. see yeah. no phone. Like, yeah, because it's an engaging. It's right. It's colorful. Colorful, you know. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. It's bad enough. I feel like I'm on my phone a little bit too much. Damn. It's, right. like, I, sad. Like, in children, like, I would babysit a lot. Uh, just these kids would be absolutely addicted like to their iPads and So they stuff. wouldn't pay attention to you in your world. And, and it's, it's just more... like even the way the parents no, talk no. like on the way out like they get this amount of screen time and then you have to rip it away from him and rip then I literally have Honestly, to like rip it away from a child. It's that's like, kind of it's kind of different because I've seen it like in my cousin like she she gets straight A's she's 9, 10 now but all she was doing was on a tablet or a phone. She got a phone. She's doing everything. Okay, so let me ask you this. Well, that's, yeah, that's her. Is she happy, though? These kids be watching Peppa Pig not oh, doing no. shit. Is that, you know what I mean? Like, is she happy? Like, if you happy, are you genuinely happy? Like, because the danger is it messes up with your sleep pattern. Mm-hmm. You don't get adequate sleep. Five. Then it's already messing up with your social skills. You don't even know how to talk to people. You, you may, get anxiety. You may not, you yeah, you may not fit into the category of like Instagram model as a young girl. Right, and then you start being like, yeah, exactly. Or as a guy, six-pack abs. I ain't got, you know, I ain't got no abs. Oh, shit. He got a six-pack. Shit, can I live up to the expectation? There's many dangers behind like, the phone situation. And then the yeah. Social Dilemma, the movie recently. Has anyone seen that on Netflix? Oh, man, that's on my list. I heard that shit. Ooh. I know. I was going to watch it. Basically, it just breaks down. Here's a synopsis. It just breaks down how the programmers made it so it's super addictive with the like buttons, um, super addicted to where you would enjoy this more than regular life itself. And they knew that going into it. And they had some education on how to, like, basically brain brain tune you. And then, uh, you know, um, now, you're, now you're all of a sudden engaged with other people's lives more than, you know, yourself. And you're like total strangers. You know more about total strangers sometimes that's on your feed. You're like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, they, where are they at now? And you're like, I don't even Literally. know that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look, I appreciate you watching that, this podcast. But go out and have some social time with your family and friends. Well, at least podcast you can listen to while mowing the lawn. <laughs> at least right. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 listen to Air Hustle. Damn. At the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> while you getting your meal. When you on, on your road trip. <laughs> I mean, I just... It's scary to me. And this has been happening. But how since. do we go forward from here? What, I remember, what's the future? <laughs> I mean, I remember like, for me, I know it started in my space. I remember I was playing with like the coding, which granted, I ain't no computer oh, person shit. at all. The coding in my coding, space. Yeah, like that coding my <laughs> Who's space. Who's got that pretty pictures? In yeah. Like, <laughs> who got that layout? <laughs> yeah, you like, I know you got like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> I'm over here playing with like, you know, uh, playing with coding and, that was a dick. Who's your top me. five friends? Yeah. <laughs> it's about to change. I'm like, you get the top five, bitch. Huh, huh. Get the top. Oh, wait a minute. And then you get on the page, you click it, and the music starts playing. Like, that was my shit back in the day. Yeah, right? I, would lo- I would load a. What was your song on your MySpace? <sighs> I was, man, I had a list like 20, 30, 40 fucking songs. Oh, damn. Playlist. I only had one. <laughs> 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 yeah, the coding. The coding. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the danger now, when, when I look back at it. Ready Player One, it's coming up. Huh. We're getting into Ready Player One zone because yeah, yeah. the VR is starting to kick in. Facebook just bought VR. You ever heard of the Oculus Two? Oculus, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I played the now Oculus you have to have the sign in to get the Oculus Two, but it's like cheaper software to buy compared to like the, the Vive and all the other stuff. But then a lot of people were like, "Damn, I don't want to be a part of the, the Facebook like online community because you can have a, mm-hmm. a chat room now, like we're doing now online. I think virtually? that's going to help. Yeah, virtually now. Wait, gonna, so and you have an avatar real? there. Yeah, but that's a little scared. bit. Like you ever saw? I saw. I can't hang out in different areas. Like that is scary. Fun. Cause like I saw this movie where the people got like like really 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 fat, and they plugged up themselves into like a computer to deal with the avatar to have like you know like regular things like how we doing now you know socializing, uh, sex, eating food, going out you know all your regular things and it was like the best looking avatar. But when they go to sleep, they unplug from the system. And they just looked like they was not ran over by an 18 wheeler. Like it was, Jeez, you know what I mean? They just sounds like, like a movie shit. Right there. Yeah, yeah. I can't even think of the name of a movie, but that's a danger. Yeah, hell no. Well, they're going to have movement to it. I thought to myself this winter, if we go into like some other random lockdown or whatever, it's it's colder at night. If I don't want to go out, I'm just going to 
go immerse myself in the VR and go play like Star Wars games and like shred people up with my oh, lasers, yeah. you know, and like <laughs> and get and get on the, like my Jedi level. But I felt like, okay, damn, I'm I'm about to buy it, but I'm like, hmm, reading reviews, and I'm like, do I want to get sucked into it? To, to the, another social media platform when I sign in? Right. Do I yeah. want to have another addiction in my life or am I good right now with like, you know, I was thinking about getting a one wheel and like the, those electric vehicles where you can just cruise around the beach yeah. or go downtown and, and do that like Them in regular life. Because so we got, I want one of those. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. But like, that's what I think the, the solution is, is getting like a boat or getting like a fun toy so that you can get, get out and do more experiences yeah. of life and, and get in and be sharpen in your steel. And, you know? Yeah. Get out, like you because know. In house air pollution is worse than outside house air pollution. True so that. if you're mm-hmm. constantly stuck in the house, how would your body be handling that? That's oh yeah, it's a little. I'm, I'm I lost y'all there. Huh? No, no, <laughs> I, you know, I, no. I, I, I've dealt with mold before. Yeah, and you gotta yeah. you gotta get that air doctor plug on that. Okay, get the air doctor because it will clean up your environment. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I agree. So it's like a four stage filter. But it, I mean, you HEPA. sleep, you sleep really good. HEPA, yeah. HEPA with ultraviolet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. You gonna. It's killing those micro viruses and shit. Yeah, especially guys, if you we're talking about that solution right there, solution talk is um guess what? If someone has COVID in your house, you have two of those air filters, it'll clean up the whole environment. And, right. and your whole family might not get sick. So these are some solutions you write down. Put them put them in your pocket. Airdoctor.com. Sure. So how does how does this make <laughs> how all this information making y'all feel? But I'm really like thinking about <laughs> everything right now. Like I'm sitting here quiet, but I'm just like I know a, a quiet person is just a loudest mind. You Honestly, I, mean? I feel like the way our like we we all grew up in like a pretty decent generation to where we we know what's going on, but to know like we're not fucking getting sucked into this shit as much as like the newer generation. You feel me? Right. Like we grew up around a time where like. Are you 90s baby? We kind of, yeah. Generation gotcha. of the crate in 1991. So, you know, generation gotcha. of the crate. Oh, yo. <laughs> my, my, my favorite like, team won that year. <laughs> Look, facts. <laughs> like, y'all had the time where, like, y'all didn't have, like, y'all had enough time to, like, live. And y'all had phones, but y'all didn't have, like, touchscreen phones. Pre-internet, and shit like Nokia. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we grew up at a time where we were, like, just enough to, like, live our life and, like, kind of mature a little bit. Did you and go then, out in the forest? You go out and play without... Yeah, I went out and play, not the forest and shit. Really. Oh, I went to the forest. I built forts yeah. in the forest. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, that was the best I'll years of my life. Up. I'm the king of fort making. I don't know about I'm that. the OG <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> I am the Fortnite. Give me the right... I would you make, like, different, into. like, rooms... <laughs> Like a nursing room. I put carpet. With like a first Oh, did you ever kit? take the cassette tapes like, the and like stack them up like dominoes and then knock them down? But I had a whole bunch of VCR tapes and I would like line them up inside of the house, bro. And God, yo. Those were the games to play. Yo. Those were the games to <laughs> play. Much fun. Oh, you make it in, in, in like a fort inside your home? And yes. Sleepover style? Like, what up? What, what is this room? You got blankets like, everywhere yeah. and shit. <laughs> oh man, it's very see. See those are those things are like social cues where you can look back on and be like, "Damn, I was like my ass was bad," you know. I was, you know, but you you learn from it, and I feel like what you lose by being in this is you being plugged up to a machine, and you be and you become more machine like. Yeah, it's true. Because you're like a zombie in a sense. I feel like I don't get the the hit of dopamine sometimes that I need, so I need to search for it. I'm gonna try this app. I gotta try this Everybody, app. Let me say. I need to laugh something. more. I need to check a good, funny video. You got I mean, so many people who rather that you have people who would rather be in their phone to be in a conversation. You have some people instead of even making love to their loved ones. That's what I'm talking about. The sexual they would part actually of it. go watch that pornography, <laughs> and you know who you are. Yeah, and then you, you know, true. <laughs> That's been. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm just saying, like, like this. This is a danger. There's a big danger. I feel like a, your brain. Got, your brain doesn't understand. A few it. years ago, I felt like I was addicted to porn at one point. It's the truth, and I didn't realize it. I said, "You know what? This is. I'm not. I'm not going to keep doing this shit. Why I keep watching that porn? Yeah, but have me a whole woman. Yeah, and, but, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Throughout time, we never had something that accessible to, you know, the top ten beautiful woman ever. You know, in 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 a nude position or right. whatever, and then having like 180 different galleries to look at and videos of that one person we're attracted right. to. And then when we come back into the regular matrix of our dating pool or whatever, we're like, yeah, 
Okay. <laughs> so let's go back into the matrix and be like, oh, she is way more fine. It, and a, your body doesn't know the difference. You, your body thinks you get, you're the man. You're, you're the right. You're like, Dan, you're like, you're like a Hugh Hefner with like, oh, I just had a foursome last night. <laughs> <laughs> I just had, I just had clown sex. I mean, I had. I clown. Did, oh, man. I just had, we, <laughs> Shut the front door. <laughs> What I feel fuck? like I just talked what about clowns. Yeah, I've been no, drinking talking about the clowns. Okay, okay. I'm to make it sure. I've been drinking, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm this saying you can have any fantasy you want fulfilled. And I, and I remember the categories in porn used to be like four or five categories. Now? Now? Holy fuck. Jeez. Just <laughs> well, you said but what? Like, how fulfilling is it really? Um, see, it wasn't for a while. And then you have a lot of men who 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 suffer from sorry to interject, no. who suffer from erectile dysfunction. Because the dysfunction is they go and watch that porn, masturbate, turn around, and cannot perform the same sexual level. True that. Ass. And they were not as good woman. as good lovers. Because, I mean, I always fast forward to the good parts. And right, I, I, right. Always, I would miss the cunnilingus. And I would miss the, um, the, the foreplay. Right. And in real relationships, I was also missing the foreplay. So I didn't know I was a bad lover for a couple of years. Right. And then, then I would reassess and learn and go to go to different seminars on Tantra and all that other stuff, which is a great way to like learn about yourself and like using different skills. I think we've lost a lot of like ways to create relationships because right. of that, mm -hmm. that, that we can be a player in this realm of online world. And then it kind of translates into our regular relationships or whatever. So I do I think, agree, I, I think we're kind of there. We're at a separation agenda also between relationships and family and creating a family. But now we're in this, hyper dopamine world where you know it's a super hyper dopamine everything <sighs> dopamine everybody chasing that high whether if it's through drugs unconsciously a smartphone pornography and the danger is but how do you have you gotten out of it before oh yeah i, I had to, like i realized i was i'm just happy i was aware enough yeah, i always good. lately i've been doing like this macro Awareness. point of view macro point of view macro point of view and i was looking at all myself like well what the fuck am i doing keep watching that pornography this ain't it. Like, it's just, I literally, I've already seen that one already, two times. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, like, everyone. Just, well, I was like, what the fuck? Like, like I, and I'm in a relationship. And I'm like, there's nothing wrong with my relationship. Why am I Do going? Do you think they're tapping into our um, primitive self? Like, there's a book oh, by, yeah. by Ryan, um, by Dr. Dr. Ryan something. It's the, uh, it's about the Bobinos. Mm -hmm. the, the okay, okay. About um how their mating habits were, they were never monogamous. Right. So, um this is this is a, a topic too. A lot of people are going into the poly world. A lot of people are, and they they might be tapping into some uh, genetic part of us where we were, you know, um, having you know, a, a tribe, and we were having three or four wives or three or four partners, and maybe right. we would spread spread our seed further. Yeah, I think that there's yeah. something to that. They're tapping into our our genetic and our I feel like self. I feel like we constrain by the societal aspect of 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 what it means to actually have uh, a, a sexual community, like somebody. You know what I mean? Like how how do you identify? Even now to the the point of sexuality, you have some people who they they can't even be themselves sexually because they worry about the restraints or that's not the word I'm looking for the consequences of how they love ones and family but treat them like you know what I mean I have friends family members who literally have not come out the cl closet yet for fear of that mm. and it's weird at the same time you have to look at it like this we live in a society they tell you that you should get married you know <laughs> you should basically uh, uh, you know Basically, women should be home. Men should go to work. You know, it's like all these nuances. You know, a, a a boy should wear blue, never wear pink. Like you know, it's just simple shit. And that's oh, a form of control. Shoes. Besides Harry Styles, yeah. recently, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like that's a form of like constraint or or a box. You know what I mean? Like right. social construct. The construct, and I hate that. Like I don't like to be boxed in. Like everything we know, everything we do, everything we. Everything we do and think we're supposed to do is based on a social, social construct. construct. Literally like, everything we do. The narrative. Everything. But what do you think that is? And I was reading Hollywood Propaganda by um, a great uh, podcaster, and he wrote that book because there's agencies that actually control the narrative, like all of our social stuff, all of our mm -hmm. 
all of our ways we interact with our shows, all the um, popular Netflix uh, engagements and everything. So um, that, I believe that because I feel like I've been watching that Netflix long enough. There's always little hidden meetings that get you to think a certain way. Hidden mm-hmm. meetings. Uh, the enemies. Subliminals. Certain... Or, but I feel like every every show on, like, not just every well, show on on Netflix that's made from that Netflix, right? right? And there's PR agents. Like, and, and actually, have, that, like, his book got taken down on Amazon because he was shining too much light on it. Oh, yeah. The fault. Like, yeah. it's something, like, they have something in common. Like, it could be, like, horror. Uh, it could be totally different genres. But I feel like there's something in common for each one. Right. And it's only on Netflix. I've been finding that more on Netflix than any other than Hulu or anything. But Netflix, I'm seeing like a commonality. I don't know what it is. So maybe I need to stop watching that Netflix so much. No. Nah, well, they, <laughs> they put, the, they put the new cuties, cuties on that side. That pedophilia that, and shit. That pedophilia yo. shit, that shit, bro. Yeah, that shit. They're pushing that hard, though. Yeah. You know, you know, they want to do that for a reason. They want to literally associate uh, pedophiles with the LBGYT. And LGBTQ. I, LBG, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep saying LBGYC. I don't know why I keep saying LB, LGBTQ. LGBTQ. Okay, yeah. I can't try saying that fast like five times. It won't work. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 a great sadness. Like it's disgusting. It's disgusting. You want to literally try to push the agenda of children having sexual relations with adults. Like, I have a son. I have a shotgun, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Yeah, but has anyone heard heard of the plot of Cuties, too? It's like a, a little girl. Dance team, right? She, like, leaves this strict parents. I think they're of, like, uh, African or Muslim faith. And she leaves and she joins, like, a dance team. And they're, like, hyper-sexualized doing videos by the train tracks. And it's like a... They, that got so much like backlash that so people were canceling their Netflix shows. And like a lot of people were just like, I draw the line there. Like I got kids, like you said, and then it's being pushed in like 15 different directions. And it always has been pushed. I mean, you look at the top searches, you know, look at the, um, the, the runway models. They've always been like 15, 16. So and they've been throwing this shit at young, us forever. They, 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 yeah, I don't beauty like, pageants and shit. I don't, I don't like, like beauty pageants. Like yeah, that, that little that beauty weird, pageant bro. show with like. Yeah, that, that shit is weird. Like, like, <laughs> that shit is fucking you, weird. You're walking on your friend watching that show. You're like, gotta go, man. You ain't my friend no more. <laughs> Yo, fuck I'm that. like, there's a, there's a disturbing. Even like, that, what's that one person who have her show? She was in a beauty pageant when she was like young, honey boo boo. Some yeah, honey, honey boo boo. Yeah, yeah, honey boo boo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, and then you see, and I'm not, I'm not trying to judge nobody, right? But you see the dysfunction. You're saying that, and I'm not judging nobody. You're saying that it's okay to have a child wear makeup and act like a woman. Twerking and shit. No, nah, I would they, not where's, where's go that they, far to call Honey Boo Boo. Oh, I don't know her name. What's, <laughs> <laughs> I don't nah, know. That's her, her, her name. Honey Boo. Well, that's, what, that's what. Yeah, that's her name. Like that. I don't. That's what the name of the I show is. I don't know her woman. name. I don't know her name. I said I wouldn't go as far to call her a woman. No, that's no, just no. I'm, like, I'm just saying that's the what they're trying to like. They made it. They made it cool. They propped it up. Yeah, like like trying to make little girls look like they are women for or and have the same level of of. Beauty compared to women, and then they little girls. Let them little girls be children. Yeah. Some like, that's go problem, get bro. dirty, like yeah, go in the mud. Get uh, get a not a black eye. Play you with know, worms and play shit. with worms. Yeah, you know, uh, get a black eye. <laughs> Even, yeah, no, maybe get a black eye. I mean, I had a black eye when I it's, it's hey, broken. Yeah, you know? go play. So, go play. You know, go be, get beat go up hardcore. a little bit of something. That that this is weird, man. You don't think so? I think I think it comes back to parenting that if you got to have people looking after you, you got to have someone like in the community looking after you. We need to get back to community. We need to get back to what is is right and wrong again. We need to really like get our morals right. Because what I've seen is like a fall fall off of Judeo Christian values, and then we just became atheists, and then enlightened with yoga, and we we have a big mesh of a lot of different things. Which I think we've become morally better. We haven't been in major world wars in a while, but. There's a we well, have we a, are in a war though, cold wars. Yeah, we're in definitely mind we in info war. wars. Yeah, we're on a war of information, and a, I feel like there's a low key hidden spiritual war. Yes, we were talking about that self. earlier. Like, because you think about you, you just said right and wrong, people moral compass, moral compass. You, how do you measure that if you are 
atheist. You, that, or if you grew up playing Grand Theft Auto and you used to beat up people like when you didn't have a mission, you're like, that yeah, felt good, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, there's yeah. a certain yeah. 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 like, so nice like, yeah, yeah. We're okay. tapping Rocky into some, some of our, oh. our animal instincts too, mm -hmm. though. But then again, we become civilized, but like, how civil are we really? I did used to enjoy fighting, um, whether if I lose or win. That's yeah. bad, right? That's a primal. That's different. Maybe not primal. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's crazy, but you just got that warrior instinct. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like that that could have protected your whole household. If you know, like, there's a good and evil to that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh I'm, yeah. I remember I was getting in fights, and I would just black out and go red, and just be Man. like, and I'd be like, did I win or not? And right. I, it was just a carnage around me, and I was like, oh, <laughs> missing shit. teeth, and I'm like, okay, fuck. Well, that should fucking me the other day. Yeah. I got no got drunk as hell. Wrestled like four people in the backyard. That shit was funny. <laughs> that that <laughs> shit was funny. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Now nah, my neck was hurting for like a good week, like a strong. Like, That's why martial arts are so good for right. us because we need a, We need an outlet. I mean, I really do think we've been feminized as men, and we've been told violence is such a bad thing. But when you get involved in martial arts, you feel like a you feel like a king afterwards. You feel mm -hmm. centered. everything. Everything should be done in doses. Like. Like the, the, you could become an addict in everything nowadays. Oh, you yeah. could become a sex addict. You could become a yoga addict. You could become a, a addict to as though you lose yourself into something that you love. You have to find balance. Find your yin balance and yang is, yeah, and balance of, and awareness of yes. It's hard to be aware if you're not if you don't even know. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. If you didn't know, you didn't take that red pill, guys. There's red pills <laughs> underneath, <laughs> underneath your pillow. You got to ask God for that red pill. I, well, literally, <laughs> literally. I'm, I'm, I feel like I've taken the red pill and the blue pill in a sense, and I, I I see everything. Like it's weird. I see, mm -hmm. I see the matrix, and then I don't see it because I I don't know some weird shit, man. Let's let's get the the audience on that matrix level. What has anyone seen Matrix the movie? Like explain like what the matrix versus being the one who's like, you know, it's just yes, I'll follow whatever you tell me. Right, right. Matrix. Before I even talk about what the movie, if you think about it like this. All right, so the movie is about, um. It has a lot of fucking meanings. Oh gosh! Oh yeah, like, allegory, to, the like, allegory, allegory the cave. Yeah, yeah. Plato. Oh my gosh! The civilization, how it works. I mean, karma. Even, even Neo as Jesus, in a sense. Yeah, some kind of say the, that the the enlightenment, the right. awakening, the uh, going, getting out of your small town mind and out to um, a new place on the hero's journey, basically. Right. But then that there's always going to be agents that will. Or friends or family members that will try to pull you and they, back they're into the your representation of agents. Yeah, yeah. Matrix. Just Google what the Matrix is. I'm not going to tell you what about it. What it's about. It's a dope ass movie. But I, I, when I, every time I see like there's a glitch in our reality. Yeah, there's a glitch. It's, when I see glitches, and I I probably go in that in a different episode because you're like, what you mean? We're kind of in a glitch now, <laughs> and there's a Matrix. Happening. Conundrum. <laughs> There's a lot of conundrums and things are trying to work themselves out, and then action and all these things need to happen for us to go into the real um, destiny where we're supposed to be as a civilization. You have, and it, you know this. You ever woke up and you feel like something is off? You have absolutely no idea why. Every day. <laughs> yeah. Every day. Right. You kind of. Oh, every day. Damn. Every day. That's even. Or so that hangover. Even tuned, then. Either or. <laughs> why every Some day? Off. But I don't know. He, you don't know. Sometimes it be the hangover. Shit is off. <laughs> but, but, hey, well, shit. That's a different. That's a different off day. If I got a hangover, yeah, I got. I, I'm, I'm. I got an off. Nah, day. it's just like no. It's like I don't know. Like, cause usually I just like I usually have like energy when I like just big bursts of energy when I get up and shit. But yeah. like some like those days when I don't, it's something just like I don't like the energy around me. Like even with everybody, like it's just like. Are you an empath person? You feel energy real well, and is yes. it, and is it also uh, things based on your dreams, or is it based on what you what you saw right before you went to bed? None, nothing to do with my dreams at all. I have the randomest fucking dreams. So <laughs> at least dream. I know some people don't even remember their dreams. Write down them. Bro, I don't remember. Get a journal because they're prophecies normally. No. Yeah, I know. Like I can, as soon as I wake up, I'll like remember it for like that first like five ten minutes. By the time the days go this by, this is how you this I'll how you simulate the remembrance of your dream. When you wake up, don't immediately wake up. Sit there and think about what you was sleeping, how you was sleeping. Holy shit. Yeah. The, you forget you forget ninety five percent of your dream if you wake up. Whenever you wake up and then you not you don't think about what you was doing when you I got sleeping. I got like a whole journal right here. 
And I'll just give you some of the topics. A funky dream festival and snowboarding inside of a festival world. Shit. Old football and training again on the road of badass. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm still in my, I go back to high school some days and I'm still there. Hell and I'm yeah. like, damn, I never left. What? Uh, did I, did I get are held you, back? Do, are you able to, can, like, a lot of people can control their dream. Do you, are you aware when you know you in so the dream? So yes, yes bro. I, I, I learned <laughs> yes. that you can because you, you start, you could do a breathing technique and then you, you slow down the heartbeat a little bit. And then sometimes I can go back into the dream and then lucid, lucid finish That it. happened to me. I didn't know that, that happened How? to me once. I have, so one time I woke up and then I decided to go back to sleep, but I went back into a dream. I still don't know how I did that. I go to back to different No cap, like, that happened to me two days ago, yeah, bro. For the yeah. first time ever, bro. Ain't it yo, weird? I was like, yo, hold up, bro. Yeah, I woke up, I had a dream, went back to sleep, had the same exact dream. Never happened, but do you? Ever. Are you in a different place in that dream and also? No, I'm in the same place, everything. Like, same do, you get, do you get hints? And then sometimes you see in the regular world something that happened in your dreams. Nope. I get see, I do the, the craziest time. sensation of deja vu. I'll yeah, get it like I, once or like maybe so like once a is? month or something. But it's like, like I got it the other day. I forget like what the fuck it was, but it was like, no, I had been in that exact same spot before. Of course. But I had the dream. You're supposed to do something there. I had the dream like a year ago or something right. before I ever met him. But he was there. I was supposed to be, you know, in this location doing this with this person. And the feeling That's is so, scary. the feeling is so familiar and right. so like exact that it's, I don't know. I don't believe in coincidence though. No. Do you? Uh, oh, no. Synchronicities. Yeah. I believe in some sort of synchronicities because I can almost feel like I'm in control of my reality. I ta I've taken the red pill. I've taken the matrix journey. I've done the hero's journey many times. And once you get to the end of the, the journey, you learn that you got to come back home and help other people through, through yeah, the same. But it's hard. Stuff. It's so hard teaching. I hate this. Each it's, one, teach one. It's, it's, each one, teach one is a act. That's yeah. That's a good acronym. However, it's hard teaching jellyfish. Some people okay with going with the flow. Jedis. Only <laughs> Jet, 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 Jedi Council come, yeah. come along. Like, if they go, if they you willing to hungry. come along, they gotta be hungry. But yeah. some people okay, they go with that current. At That's least scary. have that green belt. At least, right? No, 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 just uniform. You gotta have no white stripes, right? You know, just come in with a green belt, ready to learn, Shit. and you'll get the knowledge. How do before I start trying to slowly wrap this up? This is Great Apes Cafe. Subscribe, like, share, whatever. You know, just don't. Don't be thinking we OD in on the situation. We got to leave a comment if you think so. We do got to cover. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell you after we finish. What do? How does? How does this make y'all feel? Because I feel like for some reason right. the vibe that I'm getting from y'all is like, what the fuck? I think, yeah, <laughs> I think what it is. I would say it's like a sort of numbness, like being. I literally made a podcast for one of my projects on like how this is affecting like this age group because this is like the first time we're being thrown into like adulthood. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking and about. That's what it's then all good this, for. you were like, yeah, we can, I can do it. Like, I got this on my own. And then you have shit hitting that no one's equipped to deal with. Of but course. you're in that mindset of like, this is your world. You have, we have to be. This is going to be your this world. Is a, you're going to exactly, be, you're going like, to be the leaders of the, so of the new world. So there's sort of like the numbness of like, this is going to be your hardship. Fuck it. <laughs> we, we talked about hero's journey. This is going to be your call to action. Yeah. And you're going to have to leave home and go on your quest. Right. Everybody's on a path like Odysseus. And your dragon. Who, who's the dragon in your story? Is it COVID? Is it the government? Is it yourself? Is it yeah. your arch enemy? Is it you? Yeah. Yourself is always my biggest yes. enemy. Always himself, um, ally and and enemy. And enemy, yeah, my biggest enemy. If you can embrace your yin and yang, like if they can hug and come to agreement, you you at peace. We're yeah. we're seeing the the dragons. We're seeing the biblical prophecies all in one year, and we're seeing. What was in control of our society? We we pulled the carpet. That's actually true. We we've seen behind the control room. Now we're like, oh, and that's maybe shit. why like, low key. I'm, yeah. That's why you I'm see not a little like, wizard with a. That's like, why like, I don't have like anxiety. Is like you worried about the future, depression. You worry about the past. For some reason, I'm not having like I think I would be in a bet a worse mental place right now. But I, I do know some shit in the Bible, you know. Faith. And I do have faith. I do look at other religions who literally talk about the same thing. You right, know what I mean? Right. And it's like, wait the floods a minute. are coming. Just, you know, it's, get, make your boat I'm right not now. Fair for me. Uh, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm numb to that situation. Like I'm not fear with the extra 
nuances of what's going on in 2020. Do you, do you guys feel like we're in the 1940s with like world like uh like the Germany feeling of of things? I I kind of get a feeling of like 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 things could go one or two ways, and then mm. you're you're kind of teetering, and their storm could be brewing, and then you know I see these these leaders just like putting down like no Thanksgiving and no holidays and. Oh, you guys gotta stay inside. Ten people. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's worse oh. than that. For some reason, I'm gonna tell you how the scariest thing. My mic is off. Oh, is, am I good? Oh, your mic. Oh, is it, you good? Can you hit microphone check? Check, check. Gotcha. You good? Okay. Um, damn, I forgot. What I was, oh, okay. I'm, what I'm really, really nervous about is just think about this before you go home and lay down. Well, not hopefully you lay down. You have a nightmare. There is information that we don't know. Get your information. What's the information you don't know that's causing this? That's the scary part. Because there is a reason why. Can we give them some movies? Watch the Zykus. <laughs> oh, they ain't ready for that. Zykus oh, one, and, <laughs> 1 and 2. Zykus, guys, if you're out there. Um, there's another great one that's um, anything Alex Jones related. Like him or not, he's got a lot. Of, he's been... Of prophesizing everything we're dealing with right he now. He is extra. I'm going to say. Super but he extra. Do, however, it is some shit that comes out of his mouth I agree on. Uh, yeah. Surprisingly. So. Yeah. He's 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 controversial, but the reason why he had 8 billion views because a lot of the stuff was coming to fruition. He, I mean, he knew a lot of secret programs because he was involved with it through his family and right. he was going to do good with it and the intentions of doing good got him canceled and taken off all the platforms. So let's keep the freedom alive so that people can make the decisions. Hence, we got Freedom Platform opening up, guys. Check that out. London Real has that. We have um, Band.Video. We can still keep videos going on. I saw a new one called, like, uh, Rulex has a video Rulex, platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so there's, so there's information that we need because it is an informational battle. And I think we should stray away from the major platforms for a little while because we're not getting our favorites anymore. We're not getting our, our – we're getting what they want us to see. So that we can uh, follow that narrative. So much. If you look at it from a macro point of view, don't let it. Don't be fearful. It's so yeah. much control going on. Phone control. Every system is control. If yeah. you if you able to detach yourself from the controls that are in place in your life, yeah. Whether it's from family, friends, government, uh, school, education, you will realize like people want power. And they don't even, like, you know, it's so many narcissisms going on. Like, I'm narcissistic, but I'm aware enough to let you know that so I can make sure I'm not overly narcissistic. But there's some people who don't know. A lot of people in government, it's I, 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 I. There's no we. And you they're just I mean? people. At the end of the day, they're not superheroes. They're not superheroes. They're, no, not, no, no. they're not gods of this planet, but they act like it. And uh, we ha have godlike powers, too. We need to unify, unite. Keep on spreading good you know, information. It, it's so hard. I'm, and I know, I know, DJ, you want me to wrap this up a little bit, but it's so hard. When you say unify, for me, it's so hard to, though, because it's everybody's so polarized. True. Everybody, you can't have a regular conversation. I had a conversation almost every day at my job on the yard because I drive 18 wheelers, right? And we get on the yard, and it's like, Tim, because you ain't thinking like this, you're wrong. They won't say that, but unconsciously, that's what they're meaning mm -hmm. in, the, in some of the shit they say. And I'm like, they're afraid of your alchemy because you're you're just way too. I little, but I literally told them like, he, I'm not going to say your name. You know who you are. He said, <laughs> he said, um, he said, uh, you know, uh, Democrats, and this is scary. Democrats are demons, and Republicans are not. And in my brain, on a macro point of view. They both sides of the same coin. Mm -hmm. At the very, very top of the level, they laugh <laughs> at people like me and you right. who are bickering over politics because their agenda is the cause confusion and people are hyping that up. That's scary to me. True. That is scary. And then you want me what to get the mad at a Republican or Democrat? You want conflict? can't i just can't tribalism is top but there's the fact tribalism like i can't you say like unified that is so because it's so <clears throat> it's so like more now like well, way here's, more here's the thing we wear different shirts when we're around different people and we're that's true and then mm -hmm. i mean we can kind of be sort of in that mindset and they, and people shape shift on you they give you what their bullet points are but at the end of the day you got to get yourself out of your little box 
you know, see it from the other point of view. But then conform. Do not conform for other people' ideology. I think that right. there is an agenda to control everyone by right. divide, so that we can we need to forget our differences and be like, that's really who's messing with our Facts. food, Facts. Are messing with our energy. They're looking to shut us down again. Our small businesses are going to be shot. Uh, and the only one person's going to be hiring is McDonald's and, and uh, Chick Fil A. And they can the the, and McDonald's makes so much money they can afford to give all the people or Walmart twenty five dollars an hour. Literally, they make that much money. So how do how do people learn how to think? Because a lot of people don't learn how to think. How, a, a lot of people fear. Like I'm like so I, I work at a job right. I mean I, I'm an employer to somebody. Gotcha. But no, the the first step is. To entrepreneurship is to think for yourself. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, all right, I know I want to get my real estate license. It's some shit I know I have to do to do that. I, I got to move differently. If I continue to be uh, complacent with right, working it's all about with, growth. It's all, it's all about, about evolution. Right, right. It's uh, if you be complacent, that's the danger with a lot of people. Huge. Stagnancy. It's like okay, I'm making a little bit of money. Let me just, I'll be out with that. No, become your own boss. Mm -hmm. Like even if it don't even have to just be from, from like work. It could be from. From art, it could be from you learning something new. You want to? I want to learn Spanish one day. You know? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have Spanish more friends. Yeah, you know, I wanna, you can always. I don't want to be like more. You know, I don't want to just be you no know, and all, all the curse words. I want to actually have a conversation at one point. What do I have to do? I have to S sacrifice some of my time. But a lot of people don't know how to sacrifice time. Mm -hmm. No, nah, because they busy. We're all, we're all we too busy. busy. We're busy. We're busy. Mm -hmm. Make some damn time. Make time. Wake up a little earlier. Do your thing. But uh, what we're we gonna talk about? Do you guys want to co cover, cover a couple of more controversial topics? I was. Where's your time at? I'm. Where we at, DJ? You're gonna Robert? talk about the one. I you have to pee. Hour ten. I get two more two more minutes on it because this is a long episode. But I, I I'm fucking vibing right this, now. Okay, <laughs> check this. Okay, so we're gonna go into um, what a, Epstein Epstein Island. Where is Jis Jisling Maxwell currently? Uh, that is heavy. Yes, sir. Y'all ready to talk about this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Before, I, let me interject on everything. How are you a billionaire and you decided to figure out to kill yourself in a maximum security prison? I don't no see cameras. I don't understand that. No cameras. No. Nope, and purposely, they have cameras in the room. It's just miraculously. And this is your red pill. This is your, this is just, <laughs> t the, the towers are falling. Tower seven <laughs> fell. Miraculously. Shit, no sense. Exactly. Tower seven. Oh, man, build a seven. Build a seven alert. Um, and you realize, well, who, why is it, what? You have to think about it like this. All right. The conspiracy, just look at it from a different point of, point of view. If he kill himself, who is benefiting from that? Damn sure not him. Yeah. But like, who is because who's his clientele? Who's his right? clientele? There it is. The paper trail always come. That's terrible. The devil is always in the details, so to speak. And what details is that? Like, I know you're like, well, what you mean? Did you see that shit on Netflix about Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? I felt like it was soft that core porn. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, I was. This like, isn't an investigative. This is more like a erotic. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> How is how sway? Like how is he getting away with this? Like how for so long? I could only watch one episode, man. I was like, this is. I was like, how? Like why? The he paid off. Of he paid people. off. All the officials paid off. Yeah, Everyone. Bro. He's a, he's an elite. The amount of people involved is what got me the most. I and think. And is he like, CIA? Is he what? Spread. Teenage girls. Where did his bro? money come from? They said he was a fantastic. Correct me if I was. S a, Businessman or accountant, some shit. He like was that. involved in science research with Harvard and Princeton, but it felt like he's involved with a lot of those children and exporting to people that really uh, can't can't get that service easily. Mm, that's and so that's scary. Yeah, mm. that is scary. What I've seen is uh, the conspiracy became reality when I saw that. That's that's for me because it's like oh yeah I hear it I hear about it yeah but what, what oh, was yeah, the first same. time you guys that's heard about it. what was the first thing that you guys uh like knew about his interactions well just when he got just locked said. up like oh. when he got locked yeah, up yeah. and people start like you know it's a man out of nowhere he's filthy rich I didn't realize how fifty he is uh, conspiracy alert here and his island who was traveling there do you know some of those yeah like the flight lists a lot of, the, a lot of some of your fucking, favorite artists yeah, yeah. Right, Jay Z right, Beyonce. Right. 
I was Chris like, T-T? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. no part of So you know about Will the Smith. fucking, the babies and shit, like the killing of the babies and like extracting the blood and shit. Yeah. For the, the adrenaline of the kid and shit. Yeah. All right, so boom. I'm about to say it right <laughs> No. All right, so boom. Chrissy Teigen and John Legend's baby died in the fucking hospital. Bro, I mm. seen that. She had like a... This is, why, this is why was it so many fucking photos of them being sad with that fucking baby not being there? Or right. her tweets. That was oh, disturbing. I, her tweets. <laughs> but, is, yo. I'm, I'm going to say this, though. If it's true that they baby actually passed, my definitely my sorrows. Yeah. Go <laughs> However, when you look at what a fetus can do, you look at Planned Parenthood. You look at the hidden system. The ninth trimester of, of the ninth yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. You look at the hidden system. Third trimester. Ninth you, literally, month. you literally look at the hidden system of what can a person gain out of taking a fetus out of the womb and, and re-engineering the genetic information for other things. And you're like, well, where are you going wild. at with this? <laughs> when you look at the devils in the details and you're looking at who funds the operation, that starts changing shit. Like, wait a minute. This is something. There is a hidden, it's a hidden situation. It's a hidden world that, that's got discovered by the mainstream people. And, right. And then they made a Netflix special it about like, it to even expose it more. more. And then it kind of threw off what's still going mm -hmm. on. And then everything got taken off that island. So I believe that island was like a ceremonial to, um, was it? Mogol, Mogol, or, Mo or the owl gods. Yeah. There's, there's a different religion aspect because I feel like it gets to be a biblical uh, between different religions and everything else. And uh, you know, they had some, and that's some ser that's some serious. Don't they want shit. to be like eternally young or something? And so people like use like the blood. Yep. Isn't that what they use the blood of the like children for or something? Blood is very sacred. And if then you can't you sacrifice use, has like, always been a part of culture. Can't use like the right. birth core or like something? I feel like. I don't know if this is a actual facts or not, but I feel like that's what like someone You're like about Oprah's beauty beauty so um bad, secrets. But, yeah, like extract like using a fetus or something for I too. I heard about I Oprah's, Oprah's situation. They use a youthing serum and they inject it right into their like that, glands and stuff. Like or the blood facials and stuff like but that. But we we don't have any real proof, but there's a lot of people speculating on this and there's a lot of uh, whistleblowers that are that are offed all of a sudden but we really do need to investigate Ghislaine Maxwell mm. and once Gis Ghislaine Ghislaine whatever her name is but she is the second tier to that absolutely and, but there's royalty involved now there's people that are considered royalty in this in this day and age so do we do we even need to know more about that or can we just leave it where it's at no, but the, you you need to know more because the more details you find out, the more connections you find, and mm -hmm. the more connections you find, the more scary it's gonna shatter when everyone's you how, fucking when you realize you know, how, systems and <laughs> when you realize, and I'm probably even losing my DJ on this. When you realize how far the rabbit goes in that hole, it's going to fuck you up. Wizard of Oz I mean, level. Wizard of Oz <laughs> level, right? And the, there's the a real wizard. The, uh, That's the thing. There's a real wizard. There ain't no wicked, fake wizard in this. We found the wicked witches. We know where. Yeah, they're like it's going down that gold paved scary. road. Like I mean, when you look at when I say the system of Planned Parenthood, you look at what literally what they just just look up what they what people do with fetuses after like when they get an abortion. I'm all, I'm just gonna say that I don't want to go into detail. But when you know, when you see what they do, and you're gonna be like, dude, what? Oh yeah, the whole industry of. I of mean, I, I question Canada. everything, especially when I found out about how China literally. If I have sixty, seventy thousand dollars, I can go to China and get a kidney, in less than a week. Kidney, lung, heart. And so, where's these organs coming from? Oh wow! If I need a hundred, if I have a hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars right now, I go to China and I get a heart. The waiting list is less than a week. Where is these organs coming from? That's why I don't do you the question, organ donor shit on no, my you, ID. Ooh, what I'm getting at is it's mass <laughs> organ <laughs> harvesting. They're coming for it. The feet that, that when I when you think about that, and I'm just connecting the dots. If they had, if they use it, that if they doing that mass organ harvesting, that's a trade. Your the fetal DNA of a fetus is literally a black market trade, and it's beneath everybody noses. 
in the United States of America. Now, y'all may say, well, Tim, that's some conspiracy shit. Look it up. Don't just take my word for it. Conspiracy conspiracy realist. And we need to change that phrase because we've been right a lot. Let me tell you something. A lot. lot Way more than the multiple media. A lot of people thought conspiracy was crazy until... They she started seeing happen. some shit was right. Probably said was Bob Lazar. We red pilling everyone. Bob Lazar <laughs> bombing put, those red pills. Put a lot of people on just the whole. Oh, he's believing aliens, but everything start coming into fruition. He, he had a new periodic fruition. chart, um, new elements that were <laughs> way before, new elements. It was way fifteen before. years before everyone. They were like, oh, that was another element that you knew about fifteen years ago. You didn't expose that, and now we got to. But he said the word, charts. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, like it's a new, new energy, new technology that crazy. has been suppressed. I mean. There's so much that we as uh, human beings need to need to get back into Tesla, get back into these um, right. new new energy forms and connect with. And a lot of a lot of these energies always been there. It's just rediscovered energy. You know what I mean? And now I'm borderline talking about Atlantis. Look, that's another. That's Yo, for another episode. We gotta get on this. <laughs> that's for another episode. And that's that people would consider that conspiracy, but look it up. Don't just take our word for it. Google. What we want you to get from this episode is the. The fact of thinking for yourself, freedom yes. of thought. Yes. Freedom of thought to me. How to we, think. And that's just, we have an Question. attack on our uh, freedom of information, but it's more than that. You get an attack on your freedom of thought when people tell you you should think like or a certain way. You should do something. Learn to necessary. unlearn. Right. Learn to, most of your schooling is going to be BS and um, just filler. Learn to learn what's important, important. to to life, to how to get improvement, how to evolve as a human being, how to get philosophy. Right. Look up your stoicism. Psychology. Yeah, learn Sociology. The people. Balance. Mm-hmm. How to have balance with self. And that's what I, that's literally what we're talking about is one of the re- main reasons why I even made a podcast. We can yes. talk about it. You yes. don't have to agree with everything we said, but we want you to research. We want you to open your mind to soak in knowledge like a sponge. Do anybody else got anything to say before I start wrapping up this episode? A, a message Ooh. of hope, guys. Faith. Keep keep each other. Communities tight. Reach out to your friends because a lot of people are going through tough times right now. Um, utilize herbs and and ancient remedies and uh, facts. Look up Doctor CB. Doctor yes, CB. Yes, look up Doctor CB. Please look up him. He was wow. That was, that man is a real doctor. Oh, oh, electric <laughs> doctor. electric diet, guys. The moringa bitters, the black seed bitters. Get those from Amazon. Keep your body filtrated. Uh, drink the freshest waters. PH filtrate. Levels. Yeah. Don't shower every single day. Get, let those natural oils shine. You're beautiful. <laughs> Some people are like, oh my God. <laughs> Smell your natural pheromones. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, nobody, they're like, oh, what you mean pheromones? Oh, man. That shit. That's kind of hit. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you smell your own pheromones or like your partners, pheromones. you're like, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, look it up. Look that up. Y'all probably like, well, what you mean, it's pheromones? Really, no, my roommate and I used to wake up every day like, damn, my pheromones went off last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, right. <laughs> like, what the hell? This is Great Apes Cafe, and I hope you get something out this episode. A nigga douche. That's that's how I'm going out with this episode. Until next time, I don't know what's the next episode about. Um, Amari is doing good. Um, she's still taking care of her parents and going through some shit. I don't want to put all her information out. So just note that we think about you, Amari, when you see this episode. We got love for you. And um, Woos, your ass went to a party and got drunk. You ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all I have. <laughs> that's all I have. I know that's so I love that episode. Oh yeah. I love that episode because we